Neon just popped old immediately. So I think you just help them out by like flashing on sight here. Just like a quick, like close flash. Dogging's fine too, but I think the flash, yeah, see like, I think the flash is more valuable here. I think you flash here, this Phoenix or this um, chamber is fully blind and Neon gets an easy kill. The utility usage is another reason why you should stick to one agent <laughs> or, or one roll. And that is because these little details will uh, add up. Your mechanics are, are good. Your mechanics are better than a platinum player's mechanics. However, your utility usage is what the issue is, I think. You kind of focus on like one roll, you'll be able to like improve that the level level of utility usage that you have and eventually that'll catch up to your aim and then you'll just be a much better player. I used to follow the principle like when I used to play Overwatch is like, oh, OK, we don't have a tank, so I'll play D.Va. But, you know, I wasn't that good at D.Va or, for example, filling is just not as good of a way to, to play the game, even though it feels like you're helping. If you're interested in free VOD reviews, check out my Discord in the description below. These will be done live on my stream every Friday. Just make sure to read the rules and requirements before submitting your VOD. All right, back to the video. I think that sticking to one roll is a good idea. So I play Asher, right? So like I pretty much exclusively stick to Nats, Bang, and uh, Xander, maybe Boaster. So like those are the guys I typically watch the most VODs from. I typically try to stick to like Nats's like Astra play style and just like pretty much emulate. It. So if you want to get better with someone like Sky on Breeze, I would say try to find a pro that plays Sky on Breeze. I would say that at higher ranks, you're you're going to see a lot more KO on this map. Utility is a little bit better for Breeze because of like, you know, the flashes are a little bit better for like those like longer throws. KO is like a little bit of a harder, you know, flash initiator to play. So if you're comfortable with KO and you want to like learn lineups and like, you know, get a feel for the agent on Breeze specifically, I would say you can maybe like, you know, try that. Yeah, you can be a lineup Larry. Yeah, I'm going to blind. Sky can blind backside. Dog? Oh, we're needed, we're needed, we're needed. So as your neon's going in, you have the wall here. Assuming the neon's gonna go, you know, straight onto site, I would just like pop dog, and then your dog can potentially just go, you know, back a site and just clear this for your teammates running in. Your role as an initiator is to kind of help your duelist get picks on site executes, right? You really want to like work with your neon here, especially with the wall. You could do a lot of crazy flash plays with like neon's wall. Just be like, yo, neon, throw your wall site. I'm gonna flash out of the left side of your wall, and then you slide out and try to get the pick on. Site. So that's how you could like work with your duelist. The speed of play here is pretty quick. So you might not have been ready for your teammates to like be that fast. So that needs to be communicated in the pre round. Be like, yo, let's rush B, right? If we rush B, that means you have to be ready to throw your flash into sight or dog into sight like immediately. Uh, that's that's your job. Like that flash was great, right? See, okay, see, look, perfect. Reyna's right here. If you dogged first, you can cuss this Reyna and then Neon follows up easy kill. But now you might die because your Neon is like whiffing. And it looks like the Neon is on Reyna's team right now. I don't know what the hell is going on here, <laughs> but but good know, shots, good shots. Guys, okay. half wall. Good play with a dog. That first pick is usually one of the more important ones. And you guys already had sight and numbers. So like that dog you you did on site was good, right? Like it did the job. However, that's a less like valuable usage of the dog than I would say the opening pick is, if that makes sense. But uh, regardless, good round. Good round. 48 on top. <clears throat> nice. I don't know how Chamber got away like that. <laughs> that's kind of crazy, but. Um. I would even consider like, uh, so the way I would have played this round as a sky is I would have probably flashed immediately close left for the neon. And then I would have popped my ult like as soon as like the, ne you know, right after the flash. And that ult can kind of tell you maybe where people are uh, playing back site. If your jellyfish don't go over here, then you know no one's playing in this like back position. And if they all go this way, then they're most likely like back site or they're towards B or whatever. The utility usage was a little bit late. A lot yellow. Okay, you know where they are. Or anything, or anything. Okay, you know where Sky through. is. Yeah. Oh, oh they were flashed. Okay, that flash is kind of useless now. I mean, I, I see what you're doing. You're kind of delaying, which is fine. Um, but I would get a little more aggressive here. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think like right here, like this guy's like fully blind. 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can see it right there. If you ever see this, you swing that shit. Swing it, get the kill. I don't care if you're like 38 HP. Like you get that kill and then it's a, a 3v1. If you die, it's fine. The bomb's already taken down. So I, I think you can get a little more aggressive here. And then the second flash, I, I get your... I, I think the reason you the second flash came out is because you're just trying to like be annoying and like delay them. You were kind of scared. Like I'll say this right now. I used to play a lot more uh, reserved and, and scared um, because I didn't want to die. Essentially, I was scared of dying. You can't be scared of dying. That's how you get hard stuck. As soon as I started getting more confident in my ability to get in gunfights, I started ranking up quick. I got to Ascendant pretty fast. Like Diamond was kind of like a breeze for me. I, I did not get stuck in Diamond. I'm, just, I'm doing well in Ascendant right now. And, and that's because like I was underrated. But the reason I wasn't ranking up when I was in like Platinum is because I was like scared of gunfights and I played too safe. So if you get a little more aggressive here, especially with Sky, like you can you can kind of play Sky a little bit like a duelist, especially with like the pop flashes. You know what I mean? Even even if you're scared, the more that you get reps with trying to get picks off of your flashes by yourself, you know, the more confident you'll be in gunfights. So you just, you know, just keep getting reps. Have you heard of fake Ananas? Because he makes a lot of good sky guides. Uh, so you could probably watch some of his videos and you see how there's like no breeze VODs. He probably plays KO on Breeze. The reason that people don't use Sky on Breeze is because you're going to see the bird flying if you're trying to flash a deep angle. That's why KO is better because you don't see the flash until like the last second. So you can flash really deep with KO and actually get like value out of the flash without the enemy even like um, seeing it up until that point. Sky's flashes are too obvious on Breeze, I think. Yeah, and Dog is bad for open maps. Yeah, so that's another reason why KO is typically Chamber. used more frequently. But I'll say like it's more it's more consistent in um you know the higher rank you get. Yeah, like I I think this is like I think you're you're doing a good job with like the the neon wall and the flash out. Like I think that's a good way to use Sky's flash on Breeze. I think you can invest your flash early. I think the Sky flash needs to be popped like like a pop flash here because if the chamber gets flashed, he's gonna be forced to teleport away. Whenever you have like um someone that that is doing the same thing over and over again, you can use that information to punish them. And the way you punish him is by you know maybe doing a pop flash here, and then your neon can maybe you know. A wall here you know run slide back site maybe with a second flash to help them they get the pick on the on the chamber that's like one way you could potentially punish uh, I got blinded, Sky. My nice good pick you got the up you got oh. you're not really aware that they can still be back site because like a lot of people like to play on these stairs right so i i think you need like you kind of got tunnel visioned on this op a little bit too hard but like this is kind of a little bit troll because like your back is to them and your teammates can't help you you could have been more annoying here potentially as well if you went to yellow to play like this close angle and then maybe you swung this way off your teammates contact you're playing at a close angle with the stinger now so you can just keep your stinger and just go for these like close range picks potentially get this chamber pick and just make it really annoying for the enemy team uh something that you can do as an initiator is like especially on defense the first flash can be for info and then the second flash can be more for like a kill if that makes sense i think this is kind of how you want to think about it what i've seen some other initiators do is like they'll maybe play at B somewhere when they throw their flash and like curve it this way to get information at the same time they'll start backpedaling while they're throwing the flash so that they can rotate quickly if there's no one here if their flash does not detect anyone here then that means they're most likely either like scaling up mid or they're just hitting A like this is a good technique for a breeze I think as well because if you can use your bird quickly and rotate fast you can help your team on A as they're executing like the sky B long flash on bind yeah exactly um, so that's a way I've seen like Sky players kind of optimize their rotates a little bit better. So actually, there's fast no one here. There's no one. Rain is elbow. B, 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 B. Come on, Rain, we got this shit. Nice, good picks, good picks. 120 on Rain. Oh, oh, my God. I'm, I'm dodged, kid. Keep in mind, you still have all of your utility and you have your ult. Like this is one of those moments where I feel like you could have you could have probably ulted just to get info where they are. And then you just like pop a flash and swing. You don't really know when to use utility. Uh, like, see, that was a good flash. It, but like, um, I think you probably could have used it a little bit earlier there. Six you can maybe ult here. Yeah. Movie two. Six bullets. Time for us to get on. Oh, dude. 
like you started to use utility at the end but i think there was probably a few moments in there where you could have used it a little bit earlier like you can get punished pretty hard here in the beginning of the round it's actually, it's actually like right here when you hear them um it's possible that the rays like satchels in and you know comes in this way and just like kills you that way so you got to be a little bit careful with that but you're kind of here by yourself so i think you need to potentially use like like a flash to blind them as they're coming in and then just like run back site and then ask for your chamber to kind of help and you can like you can maybe like flash from back site to help your chamber get a pick something like that like i said i think your mechanics and your aim is like probably well above platinum level it's just the other stuff that comes with it like this is another reason why it's good to play one one role one agent whatever is because you'll instinctively use utility in the in you know better situations or you'll know exactly when to use it but it'll be more second nature for you instead of like filling an agent and then being like ah oh, maybe i should flash this like you don't have to think about any of that because you're so comfortable with the character okay ray stole mid with an op good pick on the cypher or from the cypher one's yeah, there. Okay, okay, you know where everyone else is now. Uh, he was mid, mid last scene. I don't know why you flashed that, but <laughs> this is probably your focus issue that you're talking about. Okay, right here, you see where the raise is, right? I didn't know he was mid. So yeah, like in this position, your chamber is first contact. So you should be like glued to the mini map. So you see the raise mid. You're like, okay, raise is mid. I'm looking sure. at halls. I know raise is still mid. We we just killed clove and I see the sky is main. And now it's sky and raise. I know that the sky is here and I know that the raise was like mid or something. They cannot be halls. So we don't need to flash halls. It's kind of funny that like you're using a flash in a position where you don't need to use the flash. And then when you need to use the flash, you don't use the flash. So. <laughs> I'm dogging, I'm dogging. No, no, aim, aim, aim. Ah, one on mine. Okay, you flash for yeah, your chamber here. This together, I'm flashing. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's it. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. That's like peak sky gameplay right there. <laughs> that was perfect. Like you have the ability to like play with your teammates and communicate and use your utility. I want more of that shit. If I see more of that, then you were you're getting out of plat in a hurry. And that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from me in the future. Subscribe for more videos like this one and check out this one next for more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.